Boston versus Miami. Who wins and why right now? This is IB Sports. I'm BJ Griffin. I'm Ray Gibson. Miami versus Boston. Round two matchup. This is going to be a, a hell of a game. First off, I want to know who you're going with. I want to know who you're going with and why you're going with them. That's, that's I'm, sorry. I'm going to go with Miami on this one. I see them winning in seven. I think it's going to go all the way to seven. Oh. Um, for some reason, I I know that they have home court for one. Okay. And that's a big factor, like I've said before. And also, I think that, you know, it's just, even though Boston won more of the regular se season games, okay. I think it's more competitive and more more intense when it gets into the playoffs. And I, I, I believe that LeBron and Wade will get that mentality. Notice I said LeBron and Wade because yeah. the other people on the team don't, don't I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> what about yeah, you? Yeah. Uh, I mean, for, for a lot of the reasons you're saying, I mean, I know you're saying they have playmakers in, in LeBron and D. Wade who, who will step up at critical times, but as a team, the, 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 the Boston Celtics step up in the Miami Heat aren't even clutch in the regular season, and that's the biggest reason I have Boston winning this series in six. Now, speaking of, speaking of clutch, as far as the matchup, we have LeBron James on Paul Pierce, and Paul Pierce has way more way more clutch ability in, in games than, than than LeBron James so that should be that should be interesting in itself and the in, in the Boston Celtics they're just I mean they're just a you think playoff teams you would think Boston Celtics and you wouldn't think Miami Heat, especially at the state they're at right now and they're gonna Miami Heat they're gonna have to learn to close straight yeah, up uh, they need to close it like it, they pass it to everybody during the regular season they were like one for 23 in games that started at three points or less that's awful and that is that is horrible like they tried Boss, they tried Wade, James, of course, but these guys, mm -hmm. they tried Miller, they tried Bibby, <laughs> they tried Eddie House, <laughs> and I don't... <laughs> they about tried everybody. I don't know, they just keep, keep it Wade, mm -hmm. and t take it from there. So we'll see what happens, because I know it's going to be some closers. It's going to be some close ones. It, it is, it's got to be when you have the... the the Boston Celtics because they, they they play hard every game and let let me tell you what as far as as far as scoring the the Boston Celtics have a better half court offense they can get quick points in their half court offense to get quick for Miami Heat to to get quick points they got to get them in in transition and really their offense is like okay we have our superstars somebody said this I'm not gonna take full credit because I've heard somebody say okay we're gonna take this is how office works. They're going to take one of the superstars and be like, okay, here you go, LeBron, do something with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, okay, here you go, D-Wade, do something with it. You know, I mean, their offense doesn't flow like the Boston Celtics does. The, the Boston Celtics, they distribute the ball very well. Number one assist per game in the postseason, 24 assists per game for the Boston Celtics. And they just have, I mean, you got Rondo running the running the court, I mean, uh, distributing the ball to these guys and feeding these big guys down low and feeding these shooters like Ray Allen. You're right. Their bench is, their bench is way better. Boston's bench. You got Glenn oh, yes, Davis. For sure. And who knows if Shaq comes back. If Shaq comes back, I have a feeling that this guy might. Diesel. Yeah, I know he's old and everything, but I have a feeling that this guy might show out the first game he comes back. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm scared of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dunk on everybody. Dunk on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm taking the the Boston Celtics, and I'm taking them in six. Hella, hella good matchups here. First of all, Chris Bosh. I feel like that that matchup with KG. That's gonna be a good one. It is. It's gonna be good. I don't really know who's gonna come out on top in that. I mean, I'll probably probably KG, but uh, young versus old. Yeah. See, so. More physical versus kind of less physical. Yeah, that's gonna. That's going to be interesting and stuff. And of course, I said before, LeBron James, Paul Pierce. That's going to be good. And then Ray Allen, Dwayne Wade. That's going to be it's going to be good in itself right there. That's going to so be a nice one too. You got great matchups just uh, across the board, and it's going to be you know it's going to be a good one. This will be a good series. I'm taking the Celtics in six. I'm taking Miami in seven. And we want to know who you're taking. Make sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, download the podcast. Yes. This is IB Sports. I'm BJ Griffin. I'm Ron Gibson. Signing off.